Hi everyone, my name is Kathy. I use she, her pronouns and I work for the Pikes Peak Library District. Today I'll be showing you how to fold a few different styles of envelope out of paper. So we have the square envelope, this more traditional looking envelope, this one which is made out of a rectangular piece of paper instead of square, and lastly, this one that you can use to hold something smaller here, or you can write a message on the paper itself. The first envelope we'll make is this square envelope. We'll start by flipping it so that the blank side is face up. And I have it in a diamond here, and I'm going to take the bottom point and bring it up to the top point. So I'm just making a triangle. Now that I've got it folded, just going to use my nails to crease that fold make it nice and crisp. Next I'm going to take this top point and just this first layer and bring it down to the bottom. And then fold and crease that fold. Now that we have this folded down, we're going to fold this whole side over. You're aiming to have this point meet the bottom about a third of the way this direction. And I always have trouble approximating thirds, but we're folding this point the other direction. So before I crease this down any farther, I'm just gonna bring this point over and see if we're close to equal. That looks pretty close. So I'll go ahead and crease this line here and I'll crease it with my nail as well to make it a little crisper and then we're bringing this point the other way all the way to the corner that we just made with that last fold and give that a good crease too okay so we have these two flaps here now I'm going to take this left point and put it into the pocket in the right point here. And then we'll take this top point and fold it down. I'm going to turn it around. So we have that point down. I'll just crease the top. I have a card here. It doesn't go in this spot, it goes in this spot in the back here. And it can't go out through the bottom. It's basically right, right in here. And then you can just fold down the top. And I like to put a little washi tape along those folds there just to keep it closed. Next up, we'll do this more traditional looking envelope. To start, I'm going to take my paper and put it print side down, white side up, and I'm going to fold it in half. And for this one, we aren't creasing all the way across right now. Now that I've got it folded in half, we're just going to mark it along the edge here. So I'm going to come to this edge and just press it down a little, but I'm not doing a hard crease. And then over here on the other side, same deal. Just press it down a little. And then we'll unfold. And you can see I've got the two marks here, but it's not creased all the way across. Next, I'm gonna take the bottom half of the sheet and fold it up. So I'm basically doing the same thing again, but I'm marking a quarter of a way. So I folded this up to the halfway marks that we just made, 
And then I'm going to come down the sides here and just mark again. on both sides. So now I've got marks on both sides here, which is halfway, and also here a quarter of the way up the page. Next, we're gonna do one more fold up to those marks that we just made. So we're folding basically an eighth of the way up the page now. So moving the bottom up to those marks. And this one we are going to crease all the way across. So I've got it folded up to the creases there. This time I will crease it all the way across. Now we're gonna take this line here and bring it all the way up to those first two marks that we made. So that's halfway up the page. And we'll fold that down all the way across. So we can just crease that. And then we have the marks that we made earlier. I don't know how visible they are on the camera here, but I have one mark on this side and another on this side. And I'm gonna fold the top down to those two marks. And then go ahead and crease that all the way across. Now we'll unfold that fold we just made. And we're going to fold up the corner here. So I'm going to take this corner and bring it up to the edge here. Just making a triangle. and press that down. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we've got two triangles on the bottom here. And we'll give those a good crease. Now from the triangle we just made here, we're gonna fold across this way. So I'm going to flip, I'm basically folding along this line all the way down, flip it this way, and we'll crease that. And then the same thing on the other side. So we have the triangle here. We're gonna fold it along that line. And crease that down. Now we're gonna make this top section into a triangle. So I'm gonna take this point and fold it down to this line I have creased here. Line it up. And then the same thing on the other side here. We'll go ahead and give those a nice crease. And then we'll fold down this whole top section along that crease that we just folded these triangles down to this way and then you can just take the point and tuck it into the bottom there and there you have your more traditional rectangular envelope and you can just put your card in the center here and then fold back the sides make the triangle at the top there and tuck it in.
envelope that you fold out of a rectangular sheet of paper. All of the other ones require a square sheet. So you can always take a rectangular sheet of paper and make it square. And for this one, it helps to have the card that you want to put into the envelope with you while you're folding it. So I'll take my paper here. I didn't have any fancy rectangular paper, so I just printed out some music on a regular piece of printer paper. And I'll put it fancy side down. And then you want to mark halfway along the sheet. So I have an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper here. So I'll go ahead and make a mark at the five and a half inch point. And if you don't have a ruler, you can always fold the paper in half to find the halfway mark. Now I'll take my card and place it right next to that mark that I made. And I'm going to take this bottom right corner and fold it up and it'll meet the card. And go ahead and fold along there and give it a nice crease. Now I'll take my card and put it inside that fold that I just made and I'll go ahead and turn it. Then I'll do the same thing. So I'll take this top edge and fold it down again using the card to help me fold. All the way across. Now you can take out the card and I'll crease that top fold there. Now I'll take the right side and fold it over. You want to have a good overlap between those first two flaps and this next one. So just make sure you're not right on the edge there. Then I'll unfold that, bring my card back. and then fold this last part along my card again. And take out the card so that I can give it a nice crease. And as you can see here, this top point extends past this line of the other side. So I'm just gonna fold that under So that's all of our folds, so I'll unfold it, put my card back in there, and fold them back up. And then I'll just take a little bit of washi tape. You can tape it along this edge, over here, across, you can use regular tape too. And if you didn't have a card, you could just write on the inside of this piece of paper, then fold it up and tape it. Similar to our next envelope. Our last envelope is this one that unfolds out into this little pinwheel that you could put a smaller card or something in the center of, or unfolds all the way out into this large piece of paper if you wanted to write a letter on this and then fold it up. So to start, we have to fold our paper into thirds, which as I've said before, is a little tricky for me. I cut out the five minutes where I struggled to fold it into thirds and finally took out a ruler and marked one third and two thirds of the way through my paper and used that to help me fold it. But I've got my thirds here, and now we're gonna do it going the opposite direction. Okay, so we've got our thirds marked both ways so that we have sort of a tic-tac-toe board going on here. Now I'll turn it so it's more of a diamond. And I'm gonna fold up the bottom here to meet the top point and make a triangle, but I'm not gonna crease it all the way across. Instead, 
I'm going to crease it through this square and through this square, but try not to crease it through the center square. So here's my triangle. And I'll crease it through this one here. And then on this side, and I'll use my nails to give that a nice sharp crease. But I skipped the crease in the center here. Now we're gonna turn it and do the same thing in the other direction. So I have a square with the crease that I just made at the top here. I'm gonna fold up to the top and make a triangle again. And then I'll crease this square. And on the other side, this square, but again, not the center square. Now we'll turn it over so that the printed side is face up. And then I'm gonna take the bottom point and fold it up to this point here. So the topmost point of the center square. And then I'm not gonna crease all the way across the bottom here again. I'm just gonna crease along the right hand side. So here's the center. I'm gonna crease this way. but not this way. So I have a crease here, not here. Then I'm gonna turn it a quarter turn, so I have another point facing up now, and then do the same thing. So bring this up to the center, and then fold to the right. Sharpen it up. Don't fold this left side. We'll turn it. And do it again. And then one more time for the fourth side. So I will turn it white side up again. And then grab the left and right corners here. and pinch them. So I'm folding along these folds and pushing in to sort of make a bowl and then down. So I'm grabbing these right and left corners here and pinching them and then pushing them in towards each other and twisting down to make this pinwheel. So again, grabbing both corners, pinching them together, and then because of those four diagonal folds we just made, as I push them towards each other, they all sort of collapse inwards. So now that we've got the pinwheel, the final folds are really easy. So I'm just gonna take this bottom point here and fold it up, turn it, Fold up the next point, turn it again, fold up the next point, turn, and then take this last point and I will fold it up and then tuck it into this pocket, which is made by that first point we folded. So then you can open this up here and you could put a smaller card gift card, trinket, whatever, and here, and then overlap the triangles to shut it and tuck that last corner. Or you can open it up all the way, write whatever you'd like on this blank sheet of the paper here, and then screw it back into the pinwheel, and then fold it all together like that. Okay, so that's four different ways you can fold your own envelope. 
The size of the paper that you use to make the envelope is going to dictate how big of a card you can fit in there, so just keep that in mind. I use scrapbook paper for most of those, but you can use whatever paper you have around the house, especially as you're practicing. Thanks for watching.